Hello traders everywhere. Jeremy Leeds coming to you from the digital studios of Market Club. And stocks traded higher and the index is closed at record highs on this holiday shortened day as investors bet on a possible rate cut from the Federal Reserve later this month. And as you can see here, we have the S&P 500 currently charting out to score a plus 100. And you see right here closed at a record high of 2,995.82, up about seven tenths of a percent on the day, albeit Volume was considerably lighter, being that it is a holiday week, but still, you can't ignore record closes in the market. Key level to watch moving forward will be 2,874.68. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle, indicating a move back to a sidelines position for the S&P 500. Moving along the dollar index, currently trading at 96.76. Uh, relatively unchanged on the day with a chart analysis score plus 75, indicating that we are in a sidelines position on the U.S. dollar. Uh, key level to watch remains 97.67. A move above that level would issue a green weekly trade triangle, indicating a move back to long position for the dollar. Dow Jones closing at record highs as well with a chart analysis score plus 100, closing at 26,966 even, up about six tenths of a percent on the day. And again, closing at a record level. Key level to watch would be 25,958.66. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle, indicating a move to a sidelines position. It'd be interesting to see if there's any follow through higher on Friday when the markets reopen after the 4th of July holiday. Moving along to the NASDAQ. Currently trading and closed at 8,170.23 with a chart analysis score plus 70. Indicating that overall we're still in a sidelines position for the NASDAQ waiting on that green monthly trade triangle to trigger, which will come if it closes above 8,176.08. So we're definitely within reach of doing that on Friday at the open for the NASDAQ. So keep an eye on that. Gold currently trading at 1,421.30 with a chart analysis score plus 100 with green trade triangles across the board indicating that overall we are in a long-term uptrend for gold. Key level to watch would be 1,386.20. Move below that level would issue a red daily trade triangle indicating a move back to a short-term sidelines position for gold. Crude oil coming back under some pressure issuing a red daily trade triangle yesterday. Uh, at 57.75, currently trading at 56.93, up about six tenths of a percent on the day. However, the chart analysis score remains negative 55, indicating that we have a mixed picture for crude oil. Key level to watch should be 59.19. A move above that level would issue a green daily trade triangle, indicating a move back to a short term long position for crude oil. We'll wrap it up with Bitcoin, not quite setting records that the rest of the market was today, kind of flattering a little bit, falling from its $13,000 level. However, still trading about 11329.85, up 1.3% uh, on the day with a chart analysis score plus 75, indicating that overall we're still in a long-term uptrend for Bitcoin. Your key level to watch remains 7511.41 move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move to a sidelines position for bitcoin with that every success hope everyone in the u.s has a great independence day with family and friends